Are your Facebook ads getting rejected? If that's the case, then today I have good news. I'm gonna share with you two ways that you can use to stop getting your Facebook ads rejected. Hey everybody, Hernan Vasquez here with scaledriven.com and today we're gonna be talking about a really sensitive topic, which is Facebook rejecting your ads. This is not uncommon, this is happening a lot, and I'm gonna share with you two things that you can do right now to actually stop getting your Facebook ads rejected. I'm also gonna tell you why this happens so that you can be aware. Now, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe, rate, share, leave us a comment, like it, and uh, share with somebody that needs to see this because it really helps out growing our different channels. Okay, let's talk about Facebook ads rejection. I need to make a caveat here, okay? Number one, you need to be promoting something that's legal or something that is not banned or restricted on Facebook. If you're promoting anything that's banned or restricted, you need to exit this video right now because this is not gonna be for you. We're talking about businesses that are not restricted to advertise on Facebook, but for some reason, they're getting their Facebook ads rejected. All right, let's talk about why Facebook ads get rejected. And this has to do with how Facebook manages their advertising platform. Now, listen, there are millions upon millions of advertisers out there. There are millions upon millions upon millions of uh, ads being launched every single day. So even if Facebook would decide to hire the entire state of California to manage their ads and to polish their ads and to moderate their ads, they would be heavily understaffed. And that's exactly why Facebook sometimes makes mistakes. Now, this is not only related to Facebook. Like any advertising platform uses these methodologies and any advertising platform could make mistakes when it comes to understanding if your ads are compliant or not. Now, Facebook just so happens that they have their AI turned a little bit too high for my taste, but still you can get this type of things reversed and even cast away. So the main point is to understand that usually it's AI related, it's an AI glitch, it's just Facebook being Facebook, that's the way we see it. And the main, the main important thing is to not get frustrated. I know it can be frustrating, but we've been hit with pretty much any type of ban and shutdown that you can think of over the past seven, eight years of running Facebook ads, but we always develop a process to avoid this from happening. If you want to learn more about our processes, go to skeletonment.com. Uh, we're taking clients, we're taking students as well, so that we can share with you what our main processes are. But today I want to share with you two ways that you can actually reverse and even stop your ads from be being rejected. Now, the first thing that you need to consider is what Facebook pays attention to when it comes to an ad. Facebook pays attention to two main things. Number one is the ad itself what you're saying in the ad, what you're saying in the video, you know, what you're portraying in the ads, what type of images you're running. So the ad itself. And then the second thing, which a lot of advertisers forget about is their landing page. Uh, they actually pay attention to where you're sending your ads to, your landing pages, what's the content of your landing pages and whatnot. Now, with that being said, once you have an opt-in, once you have a paywall, once you have anything that, you know, you need to input like a name, email, phone number, after that point, Facebook doesn't care anymore. Okay, so what Facebook pays attention to is number one, your ad, and number two, your landing page. So what do you do if you keep on getting your ads rejected? Well, the fastest and easiest way to do is to change your copy. Change the copy on your ads. That's the number one thing that I always do. You know, make it lighter, make it shorter. Sometimes a long form copy might get you triggered. Make it shorter, make it lighter. Just remove any claims, remove any, you know, before and after, remove any results. Just make sure that your ads are simple, couple lines, and that's it. Like, make your copy shorter, and that usually gets things turned around. The second thing that you can try is to change your images. Sometimes, for some reason, Facebook doesn't like the images or the videos. Like if you're saying something on the video, Facebook can actually transcribe that video and they run it against their policy. So if you're saying something on the video that sounds off, maybe you have a claim, maybe you have a before and after, maybe you're asking two personal questions, just take those things out of your video. So the first thing that you always wanna take a look at are your ads themselves. Now, with that being said, there's also uh, another caveat that I wanna make is that just because your ad got approved in the past, doesn't mean that your ad will get approved in the future or right now. So if you try to relaunch ads that have been approved, they might take another look at the ad and they might decide that it's not fit. So don't get frustrated, that happens a lot. In fact, it might happen with all ads, right? That they're off for a couple of years and you know Facebook decides to take another look. That is something that they do from time to time and they get rejected. Don't worry about it, that's sometimes how Facebook does. Just change the copy and you will be well on your way. And number two, the second thing that you wanna pay attention to is your landing page. Change the copy on your landing pages. Some 
sometimes changing even the design of the landing page can actually get you back in the game. So the main point is that you pay attention to what you're saying in the ads, but also what you're saying in the landing pages. In fact, what I almost always recommend is that you have landing pages that are specific for, land for Facebook ads. You have specific landing pages and funnels that are for Facebook ads because that allows you to kind of tweak the messaging, tweak the copy there, and you can actually get your ads approved versus having a landing page for other networks that might not be as polishing as Facebook or they might be a lot more polishing than Facebook or even for email marketing. If you're sending emails, you can send uh, traffic to a much more quote unquote aggressive landing page, but that's not gonna work for Facebook ads. So that's the thing that you wanna pay attention to. Number one is the ads themselves. What are you saying on the ads? What are you saying on your videos? What are you saying on the images? And number two are the landing pages themselves. If you change these two things, there's a higher chance that your Facebook ads will get approved faster. So I really hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. We take a look at all the comments. We answer every comment. We answer every DM that we get. And if you're enjoying this type of content, feel free to subscribe, rate, share, share with somebody that needs to see this type of, uh, this type of material because it really helps us grow with the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.